In Visual Studio, there are several ways to output debugging message or log information while you debug your code. These messages can help you understand the flow of your program and identify issues. Here are some of the common methods of debugging. The first one will be console write. Number two, debug write. Number three, trace write, followed by debug break. And then there's conditional breakpoints, immediate window, and logging frameworks. For today, our primary emphasis will be on addressing item 1 through 4. I plan to produce another separate video uh, dictating the items 5, 6, and 7 to prevent this video from becoming excessively lengthy. If you prefer more concise explanation, you can refer to the table provided on the screen right now, uh, which summarizes the key points for our video today. Without further ado, let's get started with item number one, console write. Console write pertains to only application that is for our console application. So let me start in a brand new console application on my Visual Studio here like this. As you can see, in console application, you can output to a console by using console write line. Let me show you the impact of this. If I run this application, and you can see that in my console, the word hello world appears right here. So this console write line outputs to the black screen or the console screen itself. Now, you can also output to the local IDE itself using a debug write line. Hello again, like that. But this one doesn't exist, so we're going to have to import this library called System Diagnostic to make it run. So when you run this guy here, you can see the console write line outputs to the console, but the debug write line outputs to the output window here. So if you don't have your output window here, let's say if I close this output window here, if it's missing, press Control Alternate O, it's just going to open your output window here and you can see hello again. So another way to output debug message is using something called trace write line as well. Line. And testing one, two, three. And if you run this now, you can see that the the console write line outputs to the console session, and then the debug and the trace outputs to the output window right here. So you might be wondering, what's the difference between debug and trace? Then they seem to be doing the same thing. The key difference between debug and trace is that the trace outputs is a write line statement, even in debug even in uh, release mode here. So what I mean by that is that if you have this in release mode, it will output here and also in debug mode as you have seen, it will output. But for console and debug, it only outputs while you are in debug mode. As soon as you switch to release mode, these two lines will not output into the output window. Another one I like to use is something called debugger break like this, which is all usually married with uh, if statement here. So like that. And then after that, you just copy this thing over. I'm going to define a variable uh, called blnabc, and I'm going to just set it to true. It, it could be any condition that you like. So if it's only true, it will pause break here before proceeding. Let me show you what I mean by that. It will execute, and you'll run the first three statement here. As you can see on my console window, debug and the trace comes up here. But uh, the debug breaker, if it's true, it goes and stops here. This is another way to do this of doing this like that, right? You push everybody has used it in the past before. So to proceed, click on continue and the session ends like that. But if you set this to false on this guy here, you can see that it goes straight through. Those are the four techniques you can actually use to debugging on the console based application. Let me create a brand new Windows application and I'll show you what the techniques you can use on that too. So, okay, I got a Windows application here. Now, if I double click this guy here, and let's say I'm going to add the same set of uh, three debugging or rather four debugging techniques in here and see what the impacts are in here. So, if you were to run this guy here, when the window application is running, the message from debug and trace comes into the output window, but the console write line doesn't seem to appear anywhere else on the screen here. Let's go to immediate window, which is another spot you can actually do it. but it doesn't seem to be here nor there, right, for your console. Mainly because you don't have any console session uh, on your Windows application. That's why this becomes a bit hard to work with. So I think what I'm trying to get to it is that uh, you can definitely use debug and trace for both uh, Windows application and console. 
But console write line is exclusively for console application and not so much for window based. So that's one thing. So let's give it a go at the debug breaker here and put it through here. And this will also work on the Windows application. As you can see, the debug breaker stops over here. The difference between uh, all these four techniques is that the trace and the debugger runs on both mode, debug and release. But the uh, console and debug on also on Windows application runs only for debug mode. And last one more tip here, like for example, as you can see on an output window, a lot of my client complain that there's way too much garbage in there to actually sift through and find your stuff in here. So they normally like to use the immediate window. If you do not have an immediate window, you can access it through control alternate I and the immediate window will come up here. And immediate window is normally clean because it allows you to interact with your application but uh, a lot of my clients like to use immediate window rather than output window so that they can find their stuff. The question is how do you output debug and trace and console output into immediate window? The way to do it is you go to debug and you go options in here. Uh, make sure you're on debugger, general. And if you scroll down, you'll see something called redirect all output window text into immediate window. So this pertains to console debug and trace calls. So if you click okay here now if you were to run your application again one more time you can see that the output window does not have your hello again and one two three on your application here but if you go to your immediate window you can see those two messages are available for you likewise let's do on the uh, let's stop this application here likewise right now everything is output when I run this guy here everything is output on the output window here and let's enable the immediate window by pressing control alternate I and then now you, all you have to do is go to debug options under debugger or the debugging general you scroll down a bit on the right hand window here and then you say redirect all output window text to immediate window here click OK now if you were to run this guy here you can see all your output message that you have used using uh, your console debug trace actually appears on your immediate window here. Okay, so let's summarize what we learned. Console write line works only in debug mode. Likewise, debug write line also only works in debug mode. But if you want something to work in both debug and release mode, trace write line is what you have to use. The console write line outputs to the black screen or the console screen itself. Therefore, it's targeted towards console-based application. On the other side, debug and trace write line they output to the output window by default. So therefore, those two are mostly used for Windows application, but can also be used on console-based application. I hope you learned something new with me today. If you do, please like and subscribe. Other than that, please leave a comment or even say hi. Other than that, you have a good day. Bye now.